Hey traders, uh, did you know that you could trade cryptos and indices on the ProAct charts? Actually, you can trade anything. Once you know how to trade, it doesn't matter whether it's soybeans, pork bellies, wheat, oil, gold, silver, anything can be traded because uh, what you're watching, the charts are showing you herd mentality, right? So the candles are a visual representation of the herd who trades it, right? So let's go take a look at the charts. I'm going to show you a couple of them here. All right. <clears throat> so Let's first of all, uh, we have a uh, dollar index up here. You got gold in here. You got uh, West Texas Intermediate. You could trade either all three of those or any one of those. Okay. We watch the dollar index every day. And, uh, you know, it's a big deal. Right. Uh, but uh, let's go take a look at the uh, Bitcoin, for instance. Here's Bitcoin. All right. So you can see we're started in a uh, channel to the downside. I'm up on a 240 minute chart. We're in a channel down here. And uh, one thing you'll notice is that the market uses fibs. All right. They use these fibs. You go back and forth. You'll see how they use the fibs. All right. And the other thing that they really do is use the fib extensions. All right. So I want to put a fib extension on Bitcoin here. And you can see right here down to this bottom right there. And back up to the top right there. And you see how they know where the lines are. They know where the lines are. They know where the lines are. Okay, so now you can see the next opportunity here on Bitcoin is going to be right here if it continues down. All right, pretty simple to see. MACD is telling you you're going down. You got a zero line break and a T3 break. When that happens in Forex, it's 82% 82 going in that direction, all right? So you see how easy that is. Okay, so you say, well, yeah, but you're up on a 240. I'd need to trade it on a smaller time frame. Well, let's go down to the smaller time frame and take a look. And uh, you'll see that uh, all the momentum indicators that we normally have are showing up. Uh, the white dots come from the 60-minute uh, world when I'm on a 10-minute chart. And uh, the moving averages on here are all this green one is a uh, is, uh, 60 minute. This red one is the 240. Why is that important? Because uh, uh, you've got uh, more sellers and buyers on a 240 chart and more sellers and buyers on a 60 chart. All right. All right. So that means the bias is to the downside. So simple to see. All right. You can see back here <clears throat> where they made the turn. Big boy came in right here. Uh, the white dot occurs because of momentum showing up on a 60 minute chart. We bring it down to our traders on a 10 minute. So you know that a big boy has entered a big slug of money there. You can see the engulfing candle as the follow through comes through right there, right down to our T30, which is an uh, automatic uh, target tool on our charts. All right. And you can see that they know exactly where these numbers are, all right? So uh, there we go. And uh, let's go up here and uh, let's put, uh, uh, okay, that's it, all right? So let's go take a look at uh, uh, XRP, all right? So uh, XRP is right here. And uh, on XRP, you get to use the HSI because it's not a big enough, big, big enough spread in here for them to use it. And you can see they use it, they use it, they use it, they use it, they use it. They know exactly where it is. So the next one would be right down here. There's a big opportunity right there to the downside, all right? Once again, you can see that they use the fibs, they use the fibs, they use the fibs, okay? They also use the fib extension. So I'll put the fib extension on here from the swing low, swing high, down to the swing low, back up here to here, and you'll see they know where it is, they know where it was. There's the next one in route to here, all right? So how would I trade it? Okay, you can see the white dots are on top as they're trying to push it down. The opportunity is down in this area right in here. And so you would trade it. Remember, you always press your winners without exception. Trade one is there, trade two is there, trade three is there to the target. Pretty simple. MACD tells you you're going down, all right? Now, remember on these charts, we also have seven charts, okay? So over here, we have the three musketeers, right? Which are the Heikinashi charts. We call them the three musketeers because the three musketeers had a saying, all for one and one for all. So when these charts are all saying the same thing, that's what the currency is trying to do. It's trying to go down. It's trying to go down. It's trying to go sideways. It's trying to go down. These are oscillators. They're always lagging. They never tell you the future. They only tell you what it has done. It has gone down. It has gone down. It has gone down. Does anybody want to buy this? Not on your life. All right. So uh, let's take a look at uh, here. Let's look at S&P. All right, so the indices are, are tradable. We also have stocks. Let me pull this up here. I'll show you what currencies we do have for crypto before we move on. And um, there we go. 
So these are the exchanges we currently have, right? So you got all the majors. I mean, there's thousands of them, so you can't have them all, and they're adding two or three a day. But you know, you're trading Bitcoin, you're trading Ethereum, you're trading Litecoin, uh, you're trading XRP. You know, those we've got those feeds right there, right? So uh, you can pick and choose and uh, and become a master of one or two, right? So once again, here's the indices. We're headed down in a channel. We've got a zero line break right here of the MACD. Uh, T3 break right there, zero line break. Okay, headed down. All right, MACD is telling you you're going down. Yeah, okay, so once this happens, that's 82% in that direction. As you see, they, they are following through. All right, so if we're going to the downside, we pop uh, the Fib extension from the swing high to the swing low and back up to the next swing high right there. And you can see they know where the line is. They know where the line is. They know where the line is to the pips, see? So now you know where the next opportunity is. It's to the downside and it's right there. <clears throat> if we break that, it's right there. Very simple, right? So uh, you can trade that. Uh, Dow Jones is exactly the same thing. You can see that they know the fibs already and already put them on here uh, to the to the to the pip to the pip or to the point I should say in this case right there. And the next big opportunity is down here if MACD stays below the zero line here. Okay. Once again, you can confirm that with the three musketeers over here. Hold on just a minute. And uh, oh, what's going on? DGIA. I got it. Hold on. It's how easy it is to change it to get your feed, DGIA, there we go. All right, so what do the three musketeers say in this case? We're trying to maybe turn it, okay? These are Tom the Mark lines, so now you know you're inside a wedge right here. All right, you're trying to go down, you're trying to go down. We're trying to turn it down. We already turned down and we're about to turn down. We did go down and we're trying to uh, go down again in a minute. All right, so there you go, all right? So here is the opportunity to the downside. Very easily seen right there. Trade one is right here. Trade two is right there. Trade three is right there. Trade four is right there, all right? And you wanna make all those positions starting from the very beginning, all right? You always press your winners. So in order to do that, what you have to do is you have to put your, um, uh, the winners that you're pressing, you have to put them in first, all right? So uh, let's take a look at the DAX. For those of you who trade the DAX, most of Europeans, all right? Also headed down. As you can see, they know the fibs, they know the fibs, all right? Once again, we'll do the fib extension from the swing high to the swing low and back up to the second swing high. They know the fib, they know the fib, they know the fib. This is the next one, this is the next one, and the next one. Once again, you can see it, all right? What do we got? Well, we got a T3 break right there and simultaneously with a zero line break of the MACD. That's 82% in that direction, all right? That's significant, all right? It's better than you can trade. All right, and uh, so you can see where the opportunity is. It's right there, right there, right there, right there, right? See how easy it is to see? It's so easy to see on our charts. All right, uh, last one, NASDAQ. Okay, for those of you who might want to trade that. All right, so <clears throat> there we go. Same situation. This is a much shallower channel. But we'll, once again, we have a zero line break of the T3 all right, and, a, and a, the MACD at the same time, 82% in that direction. Are they going in that direction? Yes. Got a down channel here. Okay, and uh, we can use the FIB extension key for uh, finding the, uh, the, the extensions. Uh, uh, swing high to swing low to the second swing high. There we go. To the pip, to the pip, to the pip. All right. So you can see where it is. So the next opportunity here on NASDAQ is uh, right there. You can see that trade one, trade two. All right. Once again, you can confirm those with the uh, three musketeers. Okay. Trying to go down. We're 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 about to go down and we were, we were going down. And that's a five minute. So that's why it you know, goes up and down quite often. All right, so it's pretty easy to see that stuff. Let me go back over here to uh, um, XRP, all right? And we'll take this down to a smaller chart, down to the 10-minute chart. And, and I'm not a big fan of saying, see, you could have done this in the past, but it does give you a, a roadmap of what they were doing here. So you've got a channel to the downside, and then you've got a little channel uh, inside this channel going to the downside. So you got a channel and a channel. There we go. Heart line is proved right there. You got to have a heart line. If you don't have a heart line, you can't prove the outer, outer line. All right. Once the heart line was proven in here, that, that's why they knew to bounce here. If you don't have a heart line, you don't know that that's real. 
All right. So as we make, we go back up, how do we do this? Just same way they do in every single market. We do an A, B, C to the top. All right. Momentum indicator, money coming in, money coming in, money coming in. Break this bottom here and hook back up, money coming in. And where do we go? Right down to the target right there. See that? All right. So you got momentum indicators telling you when the money is coming in. All right. You've got moving averages that are very, very special that tell you whether you have more buyers or sellers. Right? You got a T3 on here. You got a MACD, and uh, that uh, tells you uh, if you get up, get them at the same time. 82% in that direction. So uh, we have a lot of traders who trade crypto, and um, they're doing extremely well on our charts because our charts feed you information you can't get any other way. You can't put Heikinashi charts on with regular charts on other uh, trading platforms. This oscillator you'll never have because we invented it, all right? When we go to the uh, HSI, uh, where we can use it, we use it in, in Forex all the time, but in, only on certain cryptos can you use it because their swings are so big, all right? But you can see they know where they are, they know where it is, they know where it is, they know where it is to the pip, they know where it is to the pip, all right? So when they break down in here, they're going to know where that is to the pip right so the charts are amazing they allow you to see uh the market in a whole different way and um i think you'd be uh inspired if you use them so hey you know you can get a tip free 10-day demo and try them out it doesn't cost you a dime and see if it can help your trading all right if it helps your trading then it's a, a a worthwhile expense if it doesn't help your trading then keep on looking but we've been doing this for uh, over 20 years now, and um, we're pretty pretty confident in our ability of our charts to show where the market's trying to go. All right, so I hope that helps you. We will talk soon, everybody.